What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys here another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we are going to be talking about the brand new Grand Voyage that has just arrived here on One Piece Treasure Cruise and this particular Grand Voyage is once again focusing on using uh, an int team which is kind of annoying because like a lot of the previous Grand Voyage, I think all of these ones here have been focusing on using int so i know that you know a lot of people have been investing a lot of stuff on int trying to beat these most recent grand voyages but today i'll be showing you the first team that i was able to construct in order to beat this uh shout out to chowser though he was the original full-on creator of this team i was trialing out different characters but originally was able to get the team to work so shout out to him um we got pretty far into it even you know just trying to build some of my stuff that i was trialing out um i was able to make it to the final stage but just couldn't get over that final hurdle this is the final team that was able to get it done now a couple of important things here is we are using mihawk with the brand new level limit break as well as the limit break expanded version by doing that he gets a buffed captain ability but i think the most important thing that you really need to worry about is the additional statistics now obviously getting to 150 gets you access to the buffed captain ability which is awesome but the stats are probably more important in this case because this character's captain ability with the expansion and the base version at level limit break 5 the the max multiplier at 5.25 does not it does not actually get exceeded when you uh, expand the character the low level gets jumped up but the high level still stays at 5.25 but you do get the additional effect of getting a booster chance of landing on a matching slot that is actually a pretty key component that we'll see a little bit later on in the quest moving forward from that we do have the ship of the uh, Oro Jackson. This is very, very important because it does make recovery and tandem matching, which is good. The additional 1,000 healing per turn is definitely required. And also the special ability of reducing paralysis is also going to be very, very key in this quest. Another thing is we do have the Shiryu support, which is going to be enabling us to remove poison. Um, you do not need this support specifically because you can just use poison sockets if you want to go down that route. Um, and you know, obviously you can pick up the treasure map character for relatively cheap. So it is up to you we are using halloween law with the support of corazon very very important that we're doing that um, for a couple different reasons um, law has the ability to prevent death and also he gives you all boost for multiple turns which we definitely need rayleigh is super good here if you have your rayleigh at level limit break five this quest is a lot easier for you if you don't have it at level limit break five you do have to get a little bit of orb luck in order to get through one of the stages and we'll talk about it once we get there and then also the fujitora this fujitora is very very important for the team because he has the ability to remove rainbow shield on a special launch but also because of the support that is attached to him which is the akainu and this akainu says that if you hit a perfect you remove one turn of defense up and when you have the mihawk at level limit break five you can have his special to remove you some of the defense up but you do need to remove one additional turn of it which this support enables you to do um although you know even though you do need a lot of statistics like it's not super unaccessible characters these characters are readily available that you don't have to use you know these weird treasure map rare recruits or anything like that which i do which i do like honestly and this is not the only team that is able to beat it there is another team flying around that i do want to trial for you guys and record a video for but that's pretty much all that i have for you guys today in terms of the team breakdown let's go ahead and jump into the clip now and uh, see if we can actually secure a victory in this video so jumping into the team comp here, what we are aiming to do is to hit as many perfects as possible, remember, because of Mihawk's captain ability, the more perfects you hit, the more you're able to maintain that 5.25 times attack boosting captain. Otherwise, you're going to go down to either a 4.25 or a 4.75, depending on if you have your Mihawk limit break expanded or not. Now, the damage is very, very tight with this team, even at level 5, with all of the investments that I have, the damage is very, very tight. So... You know, you, I think in terms of the captain multipliers, I feel like it is doable if the rest of your team is ab absurdly invested. But it is very, very risky with this team if you don't have the right investments. So you see here on the first stage, we do get a higher chance of matching slots due to Zeph's buff. And we do get recovery slots, which are treated as beneficial due to Mihawk's captain, I think. But also due to the Oro Jackson ship. Stage 2 here, um, this guy has a barrier and he is kind of annoying. But you do see that they actually will do a bit of damage to you as a preemptive on the first few stages. And the reason is, is because if you enter this stage at not at full HP... 
you're going to get given additional debuffs that you do not want to deal with. So that's why we have to ensure that we have the Max Auto Heal Sockets and the Aura Jackson Ship, which gives you the additional 1000 healing at the end of the turn. And due to Barrier Pierce with the potential ability of Shanks and Law, we can deal with the guy with the Barrier without any issues. Now I mentioned earlier that if you have Rayleigh at level limit break 5, this stage is much easier because when you launch Rayleigh Special, he gives you an orb boost at level limit break 5. Otherwise, you're not getting an orb boost. So we're just using our base damage uh, to kill this stage. And if you have the orb boost, it does make things a lot easier. Another thing as well is this is the stage where the Corazon support and the Shiryu support are going to be very, very important as we can remove the poison. You can just use poison sockets instead if you want to go down that route, but also Rayleigh special to remove the rest of the buffs, but we need to have the Corazon support to remove the bind so that we can actually use the Rayleigh special. And by using our normal attacks here, because we only did get five matching slots, we are able to kill five of them. We can tank the hit uh, just enough uh, on this stage, and then we can kill, move on. We don't even have to save any slots for stage three, moving into stage four. Stage four we, is going to be our main burst turn. Um, so on, on stage four here, we're going to be doing as much damage as possible. And make sure that if you are using this team to use the friend Captain Mihawk, before your own captain, because your friend captain will be special binded on the final stage. So by using Mihawk here, he makes the slots beneficial, we get an attack boost, and then we can go ahead and uh, remove a majority of the defense up here as well. And then we have the Shanks to give us color affinity and uh, a chain boosting effect. And then Law can go ahead and give us an orb boost as well as a an effect to tank the death hit. And by hitting it perfect with Fujitora, we can remove the additional turn of defense up due to the support of strength Akainu. And then from this point onwards, as long as we hit all of our perfects, we should be able to clear quite comfortably. And that's a lot of store damage that we get with the Mihawk special moving into the final stage. Now, I did actually kind of screw up the clip a little bit because I did record two separate clips because I thought that I had lost the fight altogether, but I completely forgot that I have the Aura Jackson ship to remove the paralysis, which is why the clip kind of cuts out in a weird way that you'll see here. But all of our slots are contained in this stage here. So the size slots are kept and it means that we we can use the secondary Mihawk special to remove the uh, the effects of the of those bad slots. We can have them become beneficial to the squad. And due to Shanks and Law's effect, we get the buffs that are carried into this final stage. So once again, we're going to have an orb boost. We're going to have a chain boost. We're going to have uh, Mihawk's effect for his uh, massive 2.5 times attack boost, as well as doing the additional damage with the special itself. Unfortunately, due to the enemy's defense up, it actually does tank quite a lot of that additional damage. We do also have the color affinity from Shanks in the previous stage, and Fujitora once again. Again, to remove the rainbow shield and I think he actually removed the despair as well so we actually get around everything perfectly this is most likely the optimal team for this content but uh, once again I'll likely get another video up for you guys at some point over the next day or so uh, showing you guys a different team that can also get through this but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today if you guys did enjoy it make sure to go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and that guys I'll see you guys within the next video.